Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Anand Sharma from India and in this problem we have to find the area of this quarter circle. So first thing is we have to find the radius of the circle and then we can easily find the area of this quarter circle. So if we see properly this A, B, C, D it is a cyclic quadrilateral because the sum of two opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees. And since it is a cyclic quadrilateral, that means we can actually draw a circle which will pass through all these four points of the quadrilateral. So this will be the circle and AC will be the diameter of this circle and midpoint of this diameter will be the center of the circle. So this is the center of the circle and let us name this point as point O and now I can draw the radii from the center of the circle to point T and point B. So OB will be equal to OA will be equal to OD and this will also be equal to OC and all of them will be equal to half of AC that is 2 centimeters each right and here angle COD will be double the angle CAD because the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc at the rest of the perimeter. So this angle will be equal to 60 degrees. So this angle is 60 degrees and triangle COD is an isosceles triangle. That means this triangle is actually an equilateral triangle because these two angles opposite to the equal sides of an isosceles triangle will also be equal and both of them will be equal to 60 degrees and this side CD will also be equal to 2 centimeters. And now if I see triangle ABC, this triangle is also an isosceles triangle and at the same time it is also a right angle triangle where angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So the length BC will be equal to length BA and that will be equal to 2 root 2. The length of the line joining point B and D will be the radius of this bigger quarter circle. This radius we can find using two methods. In first method we will be using triangle OBD and in second method I'll be using triangle BCD. So let me draw perpendiculars from point O to this line BD and also from point C to the line BD. Let me call this point as point P and this point as point Q. So this triangle OBD is an isosceles triangle where OB is equal to OD and since this angle is 90 degrees both these triangles are actually right angle and congruent triangles. So the total angle BOD will be two times the angle BAD and that will be equal to two times 45 plus 30 that is 75 that is 150 degrees. So if that is 150 degrees this much will be equal to 75 degrees and if this is 75 this is 90 that means this remaining angle will be equal to 15 degrees right. So BP will be equal to OB cos 15 or this will be equal to 2 times cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 and BP will be equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by root 2 and this BD is equal to BP plus BD where PD is also equal to BP because this triangle OPD is congruent to triangle OPP. The total length BD can be written as 2 times BP or it can be written as 2 times root 3 plus 1 divided by root 2 or you can write it as root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus 1. So we have found the radius BD is equal to root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus 1. So this was first method and in second method I am going to use triangle BCD. This triangle AOD is also an isosceles triangle. So this angle will be equal to this angle and this will be equal to 30 degrees right and this much angle is 15 degrees that means this remaining angle will be equal to 45 degrees and since this is 90 degrees this will also be equal to 45 degrees right so if this is equal to 2 then QD will be equal to QC and this will be equal to 2. You can use Pythagoras theorem over here and 
if I see triangle BQC, this is 90 degrees. That means BQ will be equal to square root of square of 2 root 2 minus square of root 2. So BQ will be equal to square root of root 2 multiplied by 3 root 2 and this is equal to root 6. So from here also BD will be equal to BQ plus QD. This will be equal to root 6 plus root 2 and if I take root 2 common it will be root 3 plus 1 inside the bracket. The area of this big quarter circle will be equal to pi divided by 4 multiplied by the square of the radius. Square of root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus 1. So this will be equal to pi divided by 4. Square of root 2 is 2 and square of root 3 plus 1 can be written as 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. So this will be equal to pi divided by 2 and from here again I can take 2 common. So inside the bracket I'll have 2 plus root 3. This 2 will cancel this 2 and the area of this quarter circle can be given as 2 plus root 3 pi square centimeters. Right? So thank you Mr. Anand Sharma for sending this problem. It was a very interesting problem and if you also have any interesting problem which you want to share with us you can send your problems to the number shown on the screen and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.